let's pull in Jens Hobom. He's an energy consultant with Prognos here in Berlin. Now, Mr. Hobom, you consult with firms and governments. How realistic, in your opinion, is this project, Desert Tech? Well, I would say it's in our hands today to decide if we want to make it happen or not. Uh, I think politicians today are willing to uh, step forward uh, with solar energy in northern Africa. And uh, we need uh, a political framework in these countries which makes it possible for investors uh, to, huge, uh, to take huge amounts of money into their hands and put it into these new technologies. I mean, you mentioned huge amounts of money. We're talking about 400 billion euros for this project. Where is that money going to come from? Um, there are a number of investors who are willing to uh, take a risk in, in this, but on the other side, we have to see that nobody will invest in something where he doesn't expect a return on his investment. Are so, you expecting a return on this investment? What should gut tell you? That depends on the political and the economical framework that is set by policy, because it's not a free market. We can't do this in a free market. Uh, renewable energies are still not competitive against uh, subsidies. oil and gas. You need a, a certain framework which helps you to uh, get uh, something like a, a safe return, and uh, so you can take long-time decisions like this one. The CEO of the Swedish energy provider, Fattenfall, he has said that he does not think this project is worth it. He says it's too expensive, it's too risky, and he's talking about the political uncertainties in North Africa. Do you think the geopolitical concerns here actually outweigh the financial risks? Well, there's a nice saying, you can't dig for oil in Switzerland. And maybe you can't dig for, for solar also in, uh, in Europe or in Switzerland. I think, um, yes, there is a risk. There are large risks, uh, actually. And we need a strong uh, political uh, help for, uh, to, to realize the project. That means that on a very high political level, we need a lot of contacts. We need networking. And we need also um, a burden sharing of the uh, responsibilities. Let's take a look at the solar energy market in general right now. We've got a graphic. We want to show people exactly where most of the mm -hmm. solar energy panels are being built around the world. And we can see the, uh, the largest percentage right now is in Spain, followed by Germany. And then, of course, you've got the United States and South Korea. Africa is not listed here. And Mr. Hobom, Africa, with its massive desert, is it um, a possible cash cow for the solar energy industry? Well, um, we're talking about 400 billion euros. That's uh, the number that was mentioned already. And if this would be realized, it, it would be a cash cow for the solar industry, yes. But um, I think it's a long way. Uh, we are not talking about today or tomorrow. We are talking about 40 years. So it's a long uh, time that we are looking on, and therefore, step by step, it will come along. Uh, very briefly, the, the market right now for solar cells, not very good. Prices have plummeted in the last year. Can money still be made with solar energy right now? Um, yes, in the financial crisis, it's, it's difficult. Uh, money is not so uh, easily given away, but I think we have to invest in the future, okay. and that's the right way. Okay, Mr. Hobum, thank you very much for talking with us.